let's understand about the types of species now if you see you can broadly classify species based on two characteristics one is the geographical area where these species are found and second is on the basis of their existence I guess this is not clear so let me just write it back again okay so let's say we take the first one which is the geographical area now certain species confined to a particular geographical area these are basically known as endemic species what does endemic species mean endemic species mean species which are confined to a particular geographic area so based on the geographical area where certain kind of species which are found only in a particular region these are known as endemic species now how do you get the examples for that let's say a kangaroo you don't find kangaroos in Antarctica right these are mostly found in Australia right of course you can very well trap them and keep in a zoo in any part of the world but their natural habitat of a kangaroo is in Australia or let's say we take the examples of a giant panda A giant panda is mostly found in certain parts of China. Okay, so these kind of species or a group of animal which are found in particular region, let's say the panda in China and the kangaroo in Australia are known as endemic species. Now let's come to the second one which is based on their existence. Okay. Now, existence again can be further divided into two, two part. One is basically the threatened species. Okay. And the other one is the extinct species. Now, the first one seems to be the easier one, extinct. What do you mean by extinct? Extinct means something which is finished, something which is gone. So basically, extinct species are the one which do not exist on earth. So you must have heard and you must have soon seen the stories of dinosaurs. Remember all these movies about Jurassic Park and all? They are only movies because these dinosaurs do not exist. So as a species, a dinosaur is an extinct species. Which means that there are no more dinosaurs on the earth. So they do not exist on earth. Now, threatened species basically, again, is divided into two parts. But before that, let's understand what do you mean by threatened species. Now, these are the species which are extinct, which means the number on earth is zero. Threatened species are the ones whose number is very low. Okay, which means that the number of population of this kind of species is very low. Now, those of you who are in India must have seen the campaign that we just have 1418 tigers left in India and we want to preserve this species, right? A threatened species is basically one which is in such a state that if you don't preserve it, it may move and become an extinct species, which means that this very low number might actually go down to zero. 
So even on this classification basis, threatened species are divided into two parts. One is the vulnerable and the other one is the endangered. Now you must be wondering what's the difference between these two, right? So endangered species are the one which are in a high risk area in the sense they are on the high risk of being an extinct species, right? And the vulnerable species are the one which are very low in number. And if you don't care about them, they will actually become endangered species. So why are they on the verge of extinction? Because what happens is that due to many things that man does, many a times, let's say you have a particular animal who lives in certain kinds of forest. As you cut down these forests, for certain reasons or for certain interests that a person may have, these species keep on getting destructed over a period of time and they become vulnerable to be the endangered species. Okay?